Hi, I'm Jonathan Garner. Though it might not look it, I've been through a lot this past year. The story I'm about to tell you is a long one, full of happiness and pain. But like all stories, this one began at home. Each day, I would come home from a hard day's work, spend time with my brothers, and repeat the next day. It wasn't until about 2013 when things dramatically changed in my life. I live with 13 brothers and three sisters. We as gardeners worked and played. We stuck together and accomplished great things. But you don't understand what it's like to live with that many boys until you actually live with that many boys. Everything is a contest, like whose favorite car brand is the best? Who's going to feed the dogs? But by far, the worst was who was going to do the dishes. Before dinner, we'd gather together and have a contest. And whoever won that contest had the privilege to pick somebody to do the dishes. Gardeners, dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. Let the Hunger Games begin. always got so close. But each night, somebody was always stronger than me. For whatever reason, they always chose me to do the dishes. Each night, I seemed to fail. And it was clear I wasn't strong enough. I had to find someone that could train me, or at least help me find my calling in life. I needed to see an expert. You ready? Let's go! Dude, here, white boy, you know Jenkins. Looking for Alan. Look at this cracker looking for Alan. Yo, Alan! <laughs> Yo, Alan, this bleach face is looking for you. You know this white boy? Hey, What's Alan. What's up, Jonathan? You know this white boy? When are you gonna learn how to be a real Jenkins? Can't have white friends, they ain't good at basketball. Come on, Alan. I don't even like basketball. What's wrong, wrong with you? Stay home and play games. I'm just not obsessed with him like you guys. Man, don't I'm ready to kick you out of Jenkins Lane, Alan. You want to stay? Make the basket. Fine. Yes. 
LeBron James. Get him. Get, right, get out of here. Just there we go. What are you doing? You don't get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> I wish this Jenkins has never come to me. Why am I even Jenkins? Why are they so mean to me? Alan, you okay, man? Can I talk to you? Alan, do you ever feel like there's more to life than airsoft? No. Wait, what? Like, are things ever gonna change? I keep feeling like I'm supposed to be out there trying to find my destiny. Destiny? But I can't seem to find it. I find my destiny as standard. So I'm all set. What's that? You know what standard is? It's, it's only the place where the, the greatest people go there. How do I get there? Well, you're gonna need a guide. A strong guide. A handsome guide. With the long, blonde, goldie like hair, you know? Yeah. Possibly Jenkins. I don't know. Well. Where would I find such a guide? My, none of my brothers have been there. Nope. Even my uncles. I don't think so either. I haven't seen them. I don't think my mom's been there. Nope. <laughs> Alan, you can take me! You got it, man! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah! <laughs> this was so great! <laughs> we decided to set off on our journey the next day. Alan told me more about Standard. I couldn't help but wonder what might lie ahead. What could happen at Standard? As we drove, he told me all kinds of things about this place. He told me that a group of people were expecting me and something was waiting behind this door. Whatever it was, Alan said it would change me forever. He said, as long as we can make it behind this door, our journey to Sanders will be fulfilled. But before we crossed over to Sanders' parking lot, he gave me instructions. And at the time, I couldn't help but wonder, why was he so nervous? And what was he so nervous about? All right, Jonathan, there's a couple things you're going to need to know about Standard before you come. All right. Um, if there's a gun, shoot it. If there's food, eat it. And if Clyde starts talking to you about Pokemon or Zelda, just ignore him. Okay. Oh, and there's one more thing. Once you reach Denner for some mysterious reason, you'll be in different clothes while you're just walking through. Do you know why? Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Let's go. To get a destiny. Can't we just use the front door? The front front door? No, no. Hold up. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Meow, meow. Fine, man. Deal. This way, guys. What was that? So 
already begun. It's already begun? How could they? Hey mama, you know what's rough? These people are giving me a hard time. <laughs> oh, I don't know! Fire! What are you doing? You want to me now? Okay. Okay. I just started. What? Alan, I don't feel good about this. He's a professional, man. Alright. We got different clothes, it seems. Alright. Maybe, I, I guess so. I hope it goes. Ah, walk. Yeah, like every door. Stupid Clyde ever since he went into IT apartment. We gotta go downstairs. Alright, let's, let's go. go. How does he know this?
What the? happened to Morgan. We had to lock the door and to honor their names. I had to finish what we had started. I couldn't let them just... What I missed, bro? Where were you? Alan and Gregory are dead. We could have used your help. Dude, I was flipping starving. Do you want one? I don't understand. 
Wait, is this the group he talks about? This is it? This is why we're here? Video games? Alright. No. Jonathan. This is why you're here. Gregor!